Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today we have my gift giving frugal Christmas present idea video. These are things that I have been collecting for months, but it's not too late for you to start now. And these are just some ideas that I have for some family members that I have purchased gifts for. And I wanted to share with you what I've done. So first and foremost, I have some individual things and then I will bring out the big guns. <laughs> all right, first of all, socks. Who doesn't love a good sock? These are from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed these, some of these are for my brother, some of these are for the men in my life. Look at these flamingos and bicycles. Now these are Dollar Tree brand. They have them fairly regularly. You just pick out what you think your family member would like. So I grabbed two of those because I know my brother will like those. But would you remember when they had the Just Saying socks and I was hauling these like a maniac? This is why the time has come. I grabbed these socks. These are $10 a pair when I Google them. So we have some bananas. We have when pigs fly. I mean, how adorable are these? And they don't have to be for men. I think these are unisex adult. So they would fit ladies or men. But we have when pigs fly. I have some scooters. And these are nice quality. They're very thick. Some music notes. And then I grabbed the panda bears. Now these are definitely, definitely unisex. And these are going to go in packages on top of packages for gifts that I've already bought. But I have a, a fair amount to share with um, the men's. These are mostly for the men's because I have a hard time with the man stuff. I have a box under this desk to put everything back in. Now these are definitely for the ladies. And these are one pair and they say rosé all day. And then this one says, um, uh, had me at Merlot. Now I had a pair for me and I tried them on and they say size nine to 11. They were pretty tight. I wear nine. My foot's a little wide. Um, and I found them to be a little tight for my foot. It was not comfortable, but the ladies that I'm giving these to will be fine. And again, I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. So you just kind of grab stuff when you see it. Now, they have these stuff all over the place. I just happened to have bought these there. And again, these are going in some gifts for the ladies in my family. Now, last Christmas, I picked up this and it says, Tis a season to be baking. And I may give this to somebody, gift it to them with some cookies or a cookbook, but I grabbed it on clearance. I just grabbed one. I don't need a hundred of them. I grabbed one when I saw it. So that's definitely going into somebody's gift this year. Um, these bags, one is mine and one is my niece's. These are knitting bags. I went to a knitting expo and they were on clearance. And it says, start your day with coffee and your day with yarn. And these are, they're called a knitting project bag. You put your knitting in them. And they're coffee. So I have two of these. One is mine and one is for my niece. And typically what I'll do, I have done in the past, is put a knitting project in here for her. Um, but I'm not sure yet. But that is definitely, this is definitely gift worthy. And I think these were regularly like $14. And I think I got them for like $3. So when you see something and you think you have somebody, you know, grab it. Because... Christmas. Um, these are also Dollar Tree finds. Look at this. It's the story of Hamilton, the book. I found it at the Dollar Tree. This is definitely for Sarah. We went and saw this. Her Christmas present last year was tickets. She and I went and saw Hamilton. So that's definitely for her. Plus she loves books. And then for my little cousin, I'm going to take this to her house. This is lunch to go. 80 simple satisfying dishes. She loves to cook and prep ahead like me, so I thought these would be fun for her to look at and decide if maybe something is here she wants to pack for lunch. So I thought that is a perfect little, you know, books are always a great gift, especially if you have somebody in your life that enjoys reading, cooking, learning, that type of thing. Now, last Christmas, I also picked up a bunch of clearance stuff for the pets. We always gift to our pets. Look at that. I mean, rarely this is only $5 at the pet store. I probably paid a dollar for it. Um, 
but don't forget your family's pets. So my brother has a dog. She's a chewer. And I got both of these um, on clearance, but look at that. And these, she can chew the heck out of these, and I don't care. They were like super cheap. So these will go for the for her Christmas package. I always like to get for the pets. But I bought these right now at the Dollar Tree. They're just big old tennis balls. And what dog doesn't want to chew up a tennis ball, to be honest with you? And if they chew them to town, who cares? Like, they're going to have fun for the hour it takes to destroy something, right? So, you can't forget the pets in your life. The cats I get treats for. And I also have knitted some um, little sock, little mittens and socks. And I fill with catnip. So, the cats are covered. Um, not my, well, my cats have them. But for my family's cats. Um, something I can I put together at the Dollar Tree for your mistletoes. So I grabbed a pair of these unicorn fluffy socks. At Cle Target clearance, I grabbed some foot cream, but they sell this at the Dollar Tree too. This is foot repair balm. So even just that together would be a sweet little gift to give somebody. Um, but I found one of these at the Dollar Tree, a foot scrubber with a hair tie. Put that with it. Now you've got a $3 gift that really somebody would enjoy. And then if you want, you could throw in some lip balm. So now we're at $4 for a really fun little gift for a teacher. You could throw in then a gift card to Staples, to Starbucks. You know, but this is a cute little gift you can package up. I use a lot of these clear bags. And put the stuff in it. Put some tin, uh, garland, no, tissue. <laughs> tissue paper in it. And um, you could tie this gift card on the outside if that's what you wanted. But this would be a fantastic teacher gift with some coffee and a gift card. You know, a coffee card or um, staples. You know they're forever buying stuff for your kids. So it's always nice to give back. So that is definitely a super fun gift that could be given um, or just just the socks. Here's a $2 gift, you know, this was on clearance for a dollar, but they sell it for a dollar. And these are the sloth socks, so here's another one. And that's just a perfect little gift. If you know your postal worker is a lady and you get Amazon all the time or packaging, that's a great gift. Um, at the Dollar Tree, a mug and a mug cake. And this is name brand. This is Betty Crocker, and they have this type of stuff all the time. This happens to be a cup that comes with frosting, and it's like um, funfetti. It's called Rainbow Chip Cake. So I read the back. It takes a 9 to 12-ounce mug. This is a 14-ounce mug. Package it up like that. Tie a bow, stick a spoon in here, and call it a gift for an office worker, a co-worker, you know, the kid's daycare worker. You could give her one of these, and then a gift card. There's a hundred things you could do. An elderly neighbor that's single that maybe only wants to make a cup for one. This is a perfect gift, and it's relevant, and it's in Dollar Tree right now. So this is a perfect $2 little gift. Get a plastic spoon. So that is perfect. Now, some of the items... Oh. <laughs> one of these cups and this one says it's the most wonderful time of the year you could fill this with candy put a gift card in there as well or just fill it with candy it'll fit perfect and I get these at the Dollar Tree they're clear loot bags I also have them in snowflake print you just tie it off at the top of the bow fill it full of candy and that is an adorable adorable little gift I am all about packaging too, guys, because it always makes it look like you may put that extra bit of effort if you put a nice package with it. So I, I try to get everything packaged up super cute. Um, but this is adorable and it's, you know, it doesn't need a straw, but you could get a plastic straw for it and fill it with candy, fill it with goodies, fill it with scratch tickets. How fun would that be? I mean, just a fun little gift. Um, this is another package that you could um, use from the Dollar Tree, fill it up again. A gift card would fit in here or um, some candy, some tea, hot tea, and put the, give this as a gift, and it's already done. 
I mean, it's just a sweet little thing. You could put chocolates and teas or coffees, or they sell the little one pot bags of coffee. That if you know somebody loves coffee, throw one of those in here and some candy and call it. That's a beautiful, fun little gift to just give to somebody. Um, these are the other loot bags I got at the Dollar Tree. They're just white snowflakes. I try to go with simple and plain. Um, if I'm using the clear, I will use like a colored tissue paper in there to to, um, to wrap the gifts. I think the clear one, no, they're the same size. So I always have those on hand. Okay, I think that's it for the individual items. Give me a moment, I'm gonna bring out the big guns and show you what I got. So one second. All right, I'm back. Now, ooh, allergies. Um, one other thing I had, remember when these were out there, these books of joy? Definitely gifting this to some of the girls with a pen and a notepad. I think this is wonderful. I'm going to give them to my cousins for sure. Um, because I think that they would enjoy having something like that. So that's a great gift. Um, again, back to gift cards. I don't like to give gift cards. I'm going to throw that out there. But people like to receive gift cards. So to me, if I don't know what to get you. A book of joy, a notepad, a pen, and then maybe a Barnes & Noble gift card or something if they're readers. So that's a good, I like to give something with a gift card. Now, I have a hard time with boys sometimes, knowing what to get them. Um, and I coupon, if you've seen my couponing. So I've been collecting like the super nice razors. This is a Chic Hydro. These are like $18 razors. And some Bulldog. This is face wash for the men. So for my boy cousin, he is a teenager. I have for him some Bath and Body Works or some Axe. I happen to have gotten these free. But I grab Bath and Body Works, some Bulldog face wash, a nice razor. And he's not going to get this because he doesn't keep a beard. But look at that grooming kit. Dollar Tree, guys. It's scissors and a a mustache and beard I'll probably end up giving this to my co-worker because he has a beard but for my little cousin who is not so little that's a perfect little gift we're taking them out and doing stuff but I always like to bring them stuff too so that is for the cousin I grabbed this for my sister-in-law it's chicken soup for the cat soul just little stories she loves to read so she's gonna get that um, now my little nephew and again, not little. They're all little because they're my little people. He loves to draw, um, like the anime type stuff. So what I created for him was his own drawing kit that I think he is going to love. I'm going to box it up. So these high polymer erasers, which are great, Pentel, Dollar Tree. I grabbed one pack for those. They have the block eraser and the pencil erasers. Then I ordered for him Pigma. These are the pens that you draw with. So every time I did an Amazon order, I threw one of these items in every once in a while. And over the last six months, it wasn't a huge expense out of pocket. And that's kind of my point. I grabbed him some pens. And then I found these anime colored markers because there's a very specific coloring for anime so I grabbed him the markers and the pens to draw and then I picked up up this book and it's how to create his own character and it's a drawing book and it is called the master guide to drawing anime how to draw original characters from simple templates so I thought he would really get a kick out of that you get templates here you can trace them and then create your own anime it's a, a little more advanced he definitely um is a teenager and has been drawing for some time but I thought that would be interesting and then at the Dollar Tree I just grabbed him a sketch pad I mean I'll probably pick up a couple more before I wrap this all up it's just plain drawing paper they sell sketch pads but um I need to get him a pencil too but that's it that is the gift you know, for my nephew that I know he will love because he loves to draw and it's all the things he needs to create his anime. And I didn't buy it all at once. So it didn't break the bank at that one specific time because I got everything pieced together. 
And then at the Dollar Tree, I have to wrap it first before I stick it in here. But I found, and I think it'll be perfect for him to store. It's a little mangled because everything has been sitting in it. But I'm getting ready to wrap all this stuff up for him. It's a um, tote bag with pencils on it. And I thought he could, like, I'll just put this in with it. And if he wants, he can um, store all of his drawing materials, you know, maybe in this bag. Once I figure out how to, there we go, get it flattened out again. There we go. And I will put this in with his package. And that way when he, if he wants, he can just throw everything in this bag and have it together and it was a super easy super quick thoughtful gift that I know he will love so I grabbed that for him now back to oh and he also got a pair of sushi socks because he's a boy and he loves sushi and he loves socks and I found those months ago and I'm like oh he needs sushi socks um, another boy gift from the Dollar Tree I grabbed this um, toolbox and it says well groomed I made this on my Cricut but you can just buy stickers if that's what you want you don't have to put anything you can put their name I have a Cricut I had it out and I did this so it says well groomed now with my couponing guys it's a man grooming kit let me show you Dollar Tree he got a beard kit too because he has a something furry face and then while couponing at CVS, I grabbed a post shave sheet mask because he definitely will use this stuff. It's a sheet mask at the Dollar Tree. I got some Dove for Men care, like just moisturizer, cream at the Dollar Tree, Old Spice. He definitely uses hair glue and this is um, the hair spike and it's a three pack, a little travel size. So I grabbed him one of those. I got him beard oil from Bulldog. Mm, it smells good too. He got face wash and shave gel from Bulldog and all this stuff I couponed for. And then I got him a Bulldog bamboo razor because I thought that would be fun. So he's got the razor, the face wash, the gel, you know, the shave gel. He has beard oil, hair, um, hair gel, a face mask, and a beard shaver kit all in a Dollar Tree toolbox because doesn't that just say man I think it does and then I'll just wrap it up for him so I think he will love that um, for the girls now this would be a perfect stocking gift too these are goodie bags that I put together with things from all over the place and I'll tell you where I got most of it but this is just the little truck bag. And I may rewrap these and put tissue in them. But I got a couple packs of these hair masks. And I broke them open. So everybody got one. I had a coupon for Bath and Body Works. So I got enough hand sanitizer for everybody. At the Target dollar spot, I picked up a couple packs of pencils. Like I said, they're going to get these gifts at the beginning of December. And they can take these to school and have some fun Christmas pencils to write with. Everybody got a bath bomb as well. That's what you do. Dollar Tree face masks. Yes, two. I don't feel like there is an expiration on these. No, there's not. Um, but they're fun. I've used them before. So they all got a different face mask. But those are by the Dollar Tree. The hand soap, the hand lotions from the Dollar Tree. Everybody got one of these fun... They just have different characters. This one is a mermaid and it is watermelon hand scented cream. It's winter time. Everybody needs moisturizer, right? I coupon for these and this is Revlon. These are called Revlon Kiss Balms. They're a little tinted, but they're flavored. This is strawberry. I think everybody got strawberry, like a light pink. They're, you know, young teens. And then I got this all at the Dollar Tree. Um, the glow three packs. I broke them open. Everybody got a little nail polish, a little nail file, and a hair tie. And I just put them in a tiny little zip bag so they don't get lost in here. 
And then a pair of Christmas socks from Target. Everybody got a different pair. And then I'll just stick those in there. So the girls will get a goodie bag when we do gingerbread houses. And I thought that would be super fun. And I have six of those. I'm not trying to talk fast, guys, but this is getting winded here. The last gift basket I put together for my niece and my cousin is a cleaning bucket. I know it sounds random, but we are all about our pets and having um, pet friendly cleaning products. So I went and got everybody um, all natural cleaning products. So these are, I hope I didn't dry it out. Uh, it's a little dry. I'm going to have to put some water in there. Um, it opened up on me. There we go. Mm, these are Everclean. So they are pet friendly. They are not tested on animals. They are non-toxic. So some cleaning wipes. They both got some of those. Look at this. I found an old-fashioned looking dustpan. I grabbed that. Um, that's not theirs. As you can see, I, I'm finding stuff. I just threw it in here. A lot of this I got at the Target Dollar Spot at Christmas, but you can get any of this stuff. This is a silicone scrubber. Look at the scrub brush to do your floors or whatever. I got one of those. Um, I got each of them some Method dish soap. Again, it's economically, it's eco-friendly, and that's what's important. Um... From the Dollar Tree, I got them each a pack of these, but look at the colors. And these are just cleaning cloths. I grabbed them from the Target spot, a set of sponges. Some other cleaning cloths, these are like dish cloths. And then these are microfiber cleaning cloths. You like your glass and whatever. So they all got a bunch of cleaning stuff. Uh, one of them got some seventh generation. This is tub and tile natural cleaner for the bathroom. And then they both got some soft soap. And I also have some uh, Mrs. Myers spray cleaner that I need to add to this as well. So it's all just environmentally friendly, pet friendly, non-toxic product that I'm gonna give them. And I do need to crick it for the outside of the bag. And I, I'm gonna put either their name or a little something on it. And then they're gonna have to get bagged up Ugh. but it's heavy both of them are gonna get a cleaning bucket and like I said on here I will put something I may even put like I dusted once it came back I'm not gonna fall for that again or their name or whatever and then a bottle of wine but I thought they would both appreciate something like this and I've been couponing for all the cleaning product um Sarah just bought a home last year, so I know she'll definitely appreciate this. So I thought that would be something great, and it's a nice gift to give to a family who I know, you know, because they're my cousin and my niece, I know they'll enjoy this. I just have to grab a couple more products. I might get some, like, laundry detergent, I don't know, rubber gloves maybe, and put them in here, but that is a gift for them. So I hope this variety of ideas was helpful to you and that you enjoy. If you have any questions, comment below. But, you know, it didn't have to be expensive. All these cleaning products I either couponed for or got them on clearance. And I've been collecting. But it's not too late. Start now. Christmas is coming. All right, guys, you have a good one. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Santa's coming. Oh, oh, oh. Have a good one. Night.